All right, let's move on to this one. Niners general manager John Lynch, quote, from day one, we've been up front uh, with Jimmy Garoppolo, and, you know, we've got this Jimmy Garoppolo saga. We're still not really sure. We're expecting Jimmy Garoppolo to be the week one starter, but we're really not sure if Trey Lance is going to be able to, like, win the job himself, or is it just going to come down to Jimmy Garoppolo if he gets injured, then Trey Lance comes in. So let's see this article here and these quotes and see what uh, John Lynch here is saying. All right, so here we go. Niners general manager John Lynch told Colin Coward on Tuesday that the club kept Jimmy G appraised of the situation throughout the process. Quote, I think Jimmy's got a really good trust in myself and Kyle. I think you earned that, and I think from day one, we've been very upfront with Jimmy. We went to Jimmy. I told him the truth. Like, look. We've had we've made a decision that we're going to pursue a quarterback this offseason. You know, Jimmy, when you've played, you've been tremendous, and the record speaks to that. We feel like there's room for growth. The biggest thing the biggest thing has been it's hard to keep you on the field. That's not an easy thing to tell a player, but Jimmy took it tremendously. And, you know, this is great here. This is just such a great quote that really just puts this full picture of the 49ers organization really clear here. Um, it just kind of speaks volume, the differences between the 49ers with Jimmy Garoppolo and the Green Bay Packers with Aaron Rodgers. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, you know, he hasn't really been kept in the loop. He was surprised that they took Jordan Love last season with their first round pick when he kind of went to them as like, can I get some help out here, please? I mean, I'm one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, and you're kind of treating me like garbage out here. You're not giving me any help. You're kind of, all right, he's great, so, you know, he can make, you know, tier three wide receivers into something good. And, yeah, I can, but that's not going to get us to a Super Bowl. We need a um, over-the-top, take-the-top-off-the-defense weapon. And, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers is like, you just drafted my replacement. So what the hell is going on here? So, you know, there's just draft differences here in communication. And it seems like this 49ers team is doing it all right. They went to Jimmy Garoppolo and be like, hey, we don't want to do this. But, I mean, we're, we're not blaming you, but you are kind of forcing our hand a little bit. When you're playing, you're absolutely great. And that is absolutely true. When he got to that Super Bowl year, 13-3, and 69% completion percentage, 3,900 yards, 27 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. All solid as heck, folks. He got you to a Super Bowl, folks. The, you know, scrub quarterbacks don't really make it to the Super Bowl, folks. I mean, that, uh, they really kind of get weeded out in those plays. Playoff games, and then it's the best teams, the best quarterbacks getting into the Super Bowl. I mean, when was the last time a kind of subpar quarterback got into the Super Bowl? Maybe Jared Goff. I mean, but that's still kind of be determined. But other that, other than that, it's you know Tom Brady. Um, 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 uh, Patrick Mahomes, Jimmy Garoppolo, who just got there last year, um, Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes again. So it's always the good quarterbacks that are able to get to the Super Bowl. So if you get to the Super Bowl, that kind of tells us a lot. I mean, you're no scrub. I mean, Mark Sanchez got to two straight AFC championships, championship games but can never push past it, even though that Jets defense was absolutely great. So, I mean, it, the, the, the football playoffs really have this kind of – sense to weed out the bad quarterbacks. I mean, the quarterbacks that we've got for the last 10 years or, you know, 20 years are Peyton Manning, Russell Wilson, uh, uh, Tom Brady a ton of times, Patrick Mahomes, Jared Goff, Matt Ryan. So there's really no scrub quarterbacks that get into the Super Bowl. So the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo was able to get to the Super Bowl and play pretty well uh, for three quarters, you know, speaks kind of volume. So the 49ers like, yes, you know, we want to keep you. We want you to be the starter, but you cannot stay healthy. I mean, Three and three last year, only playing six games. Uh, th playing three games in 2018, playing five games in 2017 when they brought him there. So it's, we know he just can't stay healthy, and that's the biggest kind of downturn. And Jimmy Garoppolo seems to be taking it absolutely perfectly. We, you know, we've heard him kind of with some quotes saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna kind of be a mentor to this man." Um, it's still kind of competition. If I'm healthy, I can go and beat Trey Lance, no problem for the starting job. It's just. I need to stay healthy. He knows that, and he doesn't like he doesn't let that kind of hurt his feelings. You know, we see Aaron Rodgers, you know, him not being part of the organization and kind of the communication, and, you know, we get him kind of speaking out against the Packers every single offseason for the entire offseason. We have to hear about how displeased Aaron Rodgers is, and, you know, there's no help and blah, blah, blah. They don't treat him like the greatest of all time and all this. But Jimmy Garoppolo is like, you know, I understand it. Thank you for coming to me man-to-man -man, straight up, telling me what you believe, telling me your plans, all of that, and hey, I'm going to try my damnedest 
and stay healthy because I'm trying to help this team as well. So just a great organization here. Great general manager, great head coach. They're keeping all their players in the loop, and that's how you keep a happy team. That's how. That's why teammates and players all play for each other because they know the organization is solid. Not like this Lions team where Dan Campbell's trying to bring in real Lions doing – get everybody riled up for some, I, I don't know. Is that supposed to get everybody riled up? I don't know. But um, I, I absolutely love it here. I think really the 49ers are doing the right decision. Everything, every kind of quote that comes out, it just seems like they've got the right intentions in mind. It's just, you know, it's just the injuries for Jimmy G. And they know that, he knows that, and we'll see if it changes this year. But uh, he got you to a Super Bowl, so you really can't just, like, cut him loose that easily. So, We'll see how much of a fight Trey Lance puts up just kind of, you know, head to head if Jimmy Garoppolo is healthy and we'll see if uh, he can stay healthy and what Trey Lance can look like if Jimmy Garoppolo does go down, if he's ready to step in whenever that happens.